Oh, I am in Poole because they have like a lights up exhibition thing across the town. Um, I printed out a map online showing where things are. I've never actually been here before. I don't know my way around at all. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping it will be good. I think it's a bit like the Lumiere thing. I went to London a few years ago, but it's not as busy. So uh, I'm see, if, see what's happening. It's a little bit windy. I don't have any uh, wind protection on my camera right now. So, um, yeah, if the sound sucks, that's why. This lot is being projected onto this building. I've just uh, gone into a road closed area and there's a big sign saying light up pool this way so I'm hoping there's some interesting stuff down this way because there ain't anything just here so there might be some more stuff down there these are all flashing different colours a moment ago Stop now. Hopefully, they'll start again soon. because the mist will get all over the camera but it, it looks like you're sort of in a tunnel and the camera's already getting pretty wet just standing here I don't want to get any closer than this but I think it would look pretty cool if I was it that way but I'm not going to risk damaging my camera if I only just got it fixed yeah, hopefully the camera's still working uh, and uh, I'm going to go off to the next thing I'm quite sure I've missed Things because looking at the map, I should have passed a few more things than I've seen. that. Uh, is there more? Am I going the right way? Oh, have I reached the end? I've just quickly popped under shelter so I can talk to the camera because the wind was too strong. So I don't know what was in that mist thing but my face and basically any part of my skin that was exposed and got wet from that mist laser tunnel is stinging like hell. 
I'm serious, I'm in pain. I don't know if it's showing on the camera if I've got red or anything. But yeah, that really hurt. My hand is hurting where my hand got wet, my face. Because it's the hand I was using to hold the camera with. And that's stinging, my face is stinging. It's not good. I'm sure there's something else on the map that I'm missing. I don't know. Maybe I just can't read maps. Alright, I seem to have spotted something that might be vaguely interesting. Someone has set this field on fire. Smells like burning paraffin. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, that was quite mildly interesting. <coughs> Let's see what else there is. There's a couple of guys maintaining them. There's one in the field I just looked at, and then there's this guy here at this field. Right, I'm around the other side of the church now. I don't see the uh, fire there. I was thinking about maybe trying to get some cool new profile picture with the flames in the background. I don't know if it'd work. Maybe if I switch my camera light on. How's that? Mm. All right, I'm gonna walk up this road now, see where this goes. <sighs> Looks like there's something up here. Some kind of projection on a building. Climatic. Right, I'm heading back up the high street. Uh, let's see if there's anything I missed on the way down. There's a couple of things inside the shopping centre. I didn't film those, um, so maybe I'll film them when I go back up. It's quite a long drive just for this. I thought it would be more. To be honest, it's like when I went to London. That one actually had quite a lot of stuff. This one I'm mildly disappointed in. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna head back. Looks like there's coffee on the bus. I don't like coffee. But you know, if you do, then uh, there you go. Flashing lights for the warning is more exciting than some of the exhibits I've seen tonight. Oh. <laughs> Not impressed. Was this worth it? I don't know, if I lived in Poole or within one of the nearer towns to pull, like Bournemouth is just down the road, 
Um, yeah, it might have been worth it. Was it worth driving two hours to get here? No, definitely not. I normally say hope you enjoyed this video at the end of my videos, but um, I haven't edited it yet, so I don't really know what it's going to look like. And I can't imagine it's going to be that exciting. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.